Kokomo Speedway. Cardwell sees our flag man with that green flag up in the air and he is gonna set him loose. As he drives it deep down into corner number one. You see that 93 truck of James Normoyle looking down low on him. Normoyle was all over his back bumper there on that start. The 101 ride jumps way up to the high side here. Shirley tries to work the middle. A good run though for Davin Cardwell, but James Normoyle Jr. is gonna lead lap number one. As the 101 truck working that extreme high side. You see Gavin Isley right there, the 053 ride of Matt Purchase right there in the mix as well as you can throw a blanket still over our top three, four, five drivers is now James Shirley looks to take the lead away. They're gonna split the 721 ride. Davin Cardwell way up on the high side, the 13 ride down low as now James Shirley's gonna jump up there and take this lead away. So James Shirley picking up right where he left off there in heat race number two out in front. A little bit of contact, more beating and banging over the infield tractor tire goes James Normoyle. Three wide there for second as Gavin Isley is gonna throw his name right into the mix here as well as that interstate batteries number 18 ride tries to work the middle of the racetrack. Davin Cardwell still trying some different different lines out here on the racetrack. Super high there in corner number one and two. He kind of goes through the middle there in three and four, but he gets a great run here off that high side exit in corner number one and two. But man, oh man, look at him run some different lines out there on the racetrack as we see our leader, James Shirley, continuing to lead the way, just kind of sticking it one groove above, above the bottom line here. Keeping that truck nice and smooth, keeping it straight as possible, continuing to try to carry as much momentum around the racetrack as he can. As Gavin Cardwell there in position number two, has Gavin Isley underneath of him and James Normoyle right there as well. As these guys continue to duke it out here for that second spot on the racetrack. A little bit of three wide action again there up corner number four. As these guys continue to battle all around the track. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these drivers as we're gonna jump into a quick piece maker gaming, crank it up. So crank up that volume and cheer on your favorite driver.
All right, as you see a couple battles brewing around the racetrack here, you see that 101 truck, that Fox Racing number 101, a dab and Cardwell all over the back bumper of our leader, James Shirley, and right there behind him, it is that U.S. Border Patrol truck battling side by side here with James Normoyle as Normoyle trying to hold on to position number three here. But Tyler Bushy looking to take that spot away. They're going to make a little bit of contact, a little bit of a crossover here as now Normoyle down onto the bottom side. So Normoyle now to the inside here of that U.S. Border Patrol number eight ride of Tyler Bushy. But out in front, James Shirley still somehow holding off the 101 truck of Davin Cardwell as Cardwell continues to try to find a way to get around the 13 machine of Shirley. Shirley trying to lead this one right from the green flag to the checkered flag as he goes right over that implement tire, almost cuts the track off there and almost goes for a ride as those implement tires can be very, very treacherous out there on the racetrack. We've seen a lot of guys go almost airborne after making some hard contact with those. It's Cardwell now back down to the bottom side. Tried to high side a little bit more here, but unfortunately, this couldn't quite get enough to make that pass on the 13 machine. As Shirley still leads the way, these two continue to duke it out. You see Dan, actually that's the, I don't even know who that is. A lot of contact back here though, as Gavin Isley right into the mix of it now. Here comes Matt Purchase as Joseph Getman, I do believe in the 11 ride, bouncing around there. Unfortunately, down a lap here for Getman. Some heavy damage, but he was throwing a wrench into Tyler Bushy and that 93 ride of James Normoyle as they were duking it out. That 11 ride came out of nowhere, made that three wide as they continue to battle here. That's brought Gavin Isley and Matt Purchase right there to their back bumper. As you see the 13 truck, or the 18 truck of Gavin Isley way up there on the high side here. Isley looking for some big, big runs way up the racetrack here, letting that big dog eat here. Get some wicked, wicked runs. That Burke just sticking right there with these guys. This is a great battle for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth on the racetrack. See Jonah Mutton right there behind them. Mutton trying to jump up here into this battle as well. Dan Ferguson there behind them. Michael Peake in the Stone Cold Steve Austin. 316 truck there in eight. Cody Sager right there in the Jurassic Park ride rounding out our top 10 with Joseph Gatman, Kyle Creasy and Derek Anderson rounding out our field here in this one. But Jane Shirley has some company at the front of the field as here comes Davin Cardwell. Cardwell looking to pick up the lead here side by side at the front of the field. Down into corner number three and four. He saw the little bit of contact. Davin gets super tight there. Chases the truck up the racetrack. So it's still the 13 ride of James Shirley out in front as man Cardwell is trying everything he can to get around this 13 ride. Trying to take this lead away as they cross the start finish line. 15 more laps left to go. Way up to the high side. This time goes the 101 truck as Cardwell's gonna drive it way up the track here. He's gonna look for a big run, trying to catch back up to the back bumper here of our race leader, and he is there making a little bit of contact. Now that we're within 10 or 15 laps left to go here, Cardwell may not give him any breaks now. He may be forced to use that front bumper as we get our first caution flag of the night. That number 10 of Cody Sager. It looks like Getman just sends it in there. Car kind of gets tight, goes dead straight, gets right into that left rear quarter panel. James Shirley still out in front trying to hold off Mr. Davin Cardwell. Cardwell trying to pick up yet again another checkered flag as the 13 truck just barely clears Davin Cardwell. There past the start finish line. Cardwell way up to the extreme outside looking for a big run here down the back stretch. Cardwell doing everything he can trying to find a little bit of extra oomph to get around that 13 run and here he is with a big run down the front straightaway. The caution flag though do believe gonna come back out here. So whatever momentum Davin Cardwell had built up, it's all for naught as the caution flag coming back out. 
this time. Looks like Michael P. Unfortunately, in that Stone Cold Steve Austin 316 truck. Going to bring out our second caution flag as they just run out of room there. He gets shoved up into the outside wall. Goes upside down and skids down past our flag stand there. Gets shoved up into that outside wall right there. Oh, man, a tough break. As we're going to go back to green flag racing in a great restart there for James Shirley. Shirley with a wicked restart there once again, but here comes a big run from the 101. They're going to go three wide, almost four wide, some contact. Here comes Bushy down on the bottom side, and they're stacking up down low here. Upside down goes Dildozer. There goes James Normoyle in the caution flag. Flies here once again. Run from the 101 ride. They all start making contact. Normoyle gets into the right rear quarter panel of the 13 ride, and they all just stack up in there. Right of Gab and Isley just goes in there. That's the contact right there. Against the 13 truck around. Normal gets into him. Then here comes Dildozer, Mr. Dan Ferguson. The 11 ride, the 10 ride as well of Joseph Getman. Corner number four. That 101 truck of Dab and Cardwell. The good restart staying there out on the high side here. Stayed to the outside of that right rear quarter panel of Tyler Bush. He does a great crossover here. Drives down to the bottom side. Clears the eight ride. So Bushy slides back to second as Cardwell picks up the white flag there. And has a truck flag lead here. All he's got to do is stay clean and green down the back stretch. And down into corner number three and out at corner number four. It's gonna be the 101 right. A dab in Cardwell picking up yet again another checkered flag here at Kokomo Speedway. Cardwell going back to back here tonight, picking up double checkered flags. 